Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm with Chris Paul, who is the CEO of Bald Eagle Gold. Uh, Bald Eagle's got a great ticker, B-I-G, on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Chris? I'm very well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me on. You recently joined uh, the company. Uh, maybe give us a bit of a background on uh, why you joined Bald Eagle. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I have a technical background um, in geology, and uh, you know I've got over ten years uh, experience in, in precious metals exploration in in North America, so so Canada and the U.S. Um, and I actually recently came across a very attractive intermediate stage uh, silver exploration project in Idaho uh, through my network down there. So. Uh, that project is called the Hercules and uh, recently helped to facilitate the acquisition of that project into Bald Eagle and uh, more recently have now joined the company as the CEO. Uh, so that will be my focus going forward. So as you mentioned, you recently, um, the company recently acquired the Hercules silver project in Idaho and you released a 43101 technical document just last week. Can you just start to give us some details about the, the project? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as I mentioned, it, it, it's an intermediate stage uh, project. It's, it's got over 300 historic drill holes on it, um, dating all the way back to the 1960s, 1970s, and then early 1980s. So it's, this is not a Greenfields project. Um, you know, we, we have a pretty significant head start with the exploration. Um, those 300 drill holes uh, have essentially defined two mineralized bodies uh, on the project. Uh, this was pre-43101, so uh, you know, we, the company can't call them resources. Uh, but nonetheless, these are, these are two bodies with, with good silver grade, uh, as well as lead zinc, uh, showing good continuity. And uh, there's four other drill developed targets along strike. Um, so we saw roughly 200 drill holes into these uh, mineralized bodies. Uh, these were shallow drill holes. Um, you know, this is, you know, on the order of, you know, one, two, 300 feet um, at the time. Uh, so, you know, the previous operators have, have left these things wide open down plunge um, and a long strike. And, uh, you know, we're very encouraged that, uh, you know, our primary focus is, is essentially to, to build a, a 43101 compliant uh, resource uh, using the historic drilling data, as, as well as some of the drilling that we're going to be doing uh, over the next couple of years. And we believe that we can significantly expand on that historical mineralization as well. So Chris, what is the size of the project? Yeah, so, so the Hercules itself is uh, 2,000 acres. Uh, you know, we, we go by acres in the United States. Um, but if you look at the company's recent news, you'll see that we also acquired uh, the adjacent ground as well. And that was called the Leviathan. Uh, so the Leviathan adds another 2,000 acres, bringing the total package up to 4,000 acres. Um, and the reason for that acquisition is the company has a mandate to look district scale. Um, so we are very, obviously, very uh, encouraged by the, the, the strong silver lead zinc mineralization and the continuity that we're seeing on the Hercules, but something has to be driving that system. So when we look to the east, and, and you'll see this mentioned in the 43101 technical report that was just published, there is a series of copper porphyry showings just immediately to the east of the project, and these have never been drilled. Uh, you know, we see very, very encouraging historic trenching on that. But what, what the model that we're, we're coming at this thing with is, is that this is a copper porphyry system to the east of the project. And that is essentially what's driving the silver lead zinc mineralization on the Hercules. We think that the Hercules is what's called a CRD. That's a carbonate replacement type deposit. Uh, these can often be very, very, very large systems and they're always fed by a copper porphyry system at depth. So that, that's the model that we're looking at when we, we acquired all this land. So Chris, what's it like working in Idaho? I got started in Idaho about two years ago, and the opportunities down there are incredible. Um, you know, something, you know, one of the sort of interesting aspects of the Hercules is the fact that it was a very under the radar asset. And, and, and these are the type of opportunities that you can only get in the United States. So Chris, uh, how is the cash uh, balance in the bank and what are your plans uh, for the rest of 2022? 
Yeah, so right now we're, we're sitting around 1.3 million cash in the bank. Um, our plan for 2022 is we're looking at a roughly 3,000 meter drill program on the project. Uh, we are going to be probably doing mostly RC, which uh, we budgeted at roughly $1.2 million. Uh, so the company uh, is going to have to finance that. So we're, we're going to be looking at, uh, at doing a financing in the next couple of months here. Um, we haven't announced the price. We haven't decided those, those terms yet, but uh, we're probably looking to raise about $1.2 million. Well, thanks for your, your time today, Chris. It was great speaking with you. Uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing those drill results when they come out uh, later on this, this summer, uh, probably into the fall. Uh, today, I was speaking with Chris Paul, who is the CEO of Bald Eagle Gold uh, on the TSX Venture Exchange with the ticker BIG. Thanks, Chris.